Hey everyone, this is Neil Barnhill with the Barnhill Golf Institute, helping you find your winning way. Hey, today I just gave a virtual V1 golf lesson to my great friend and student, Kyle. He has gone from about a 10 handicap to a 4 in the last 6 months using the V1 technology. So watch this video of me giving him a V1 lesson. You can see the differences between last August and current day. And if you'd like to have your V1 lesson done, please visit BarnhillGolf.com. Hey Kyle, this is Neil. Hey, I wanted to show you the difference between last August and currently one to one on the left. Um, so for all our audience out there, he's gone from about a 10 or 11 handicap to about a four currently and his goal is to be a scratch. I'm going to point out the major things that you changed and what you're doing successfully and why you're shooting better and also give you a couple more little pointers to work on going forward to get you to that scratch handicap that your goal is. Um, so setup wise you can't really see it here but the shoulders on the left are definitely now more square. But you used to have your shoulders wide open so that's a big thing that, that affected a lot and also we got your hips back more set up which was a good thing. So um, I put the yellow line on the head here so you can see the difference when we make the transition. There's just a, a lot of different things here. So let's go ahead and start with your swing here. Little inside there. And you can already see you're tilting. This is at the top. You can see the tilt of your head is going to the target. All right, so let's go with the one currently here. Okay, move off the ball, which is okay. Um, let's just stop it right there. It's a better hitting position. I mean, it's a much more athletic position. You're loaded up. Um, your knee flexion is better with your left knee. Uh, the only thing I would say, being very picky here, and we've talked about it, is your right knee. I think we could have that go in just a little bit. And then with your right foot, not let it, the weight of your weight get to the outside part of your right foot just a little bit. You can see there it's kind of getting a little bit outside, just a hair, not much. But if that right knee would straighten just a little on the back, I think you would probably not move off the ball as much um, and stay more in that circle. But it's such a better position here. So let's go here. You can see your old swing. You're way ahead of it. It's okay to go lateral with your lower body and squat into it, but you're going with your upper body. That was your big problem there. There, way ahead of it. Okay, so let's start down with how you're swinging now. You, you go lateral there, but you also, you can see your legs go good. Then you stay behind it. All right, so halfway down, look at your, what a different position there. Wow, your head is behind the ball. It's not ahead of where you started. You're already, your old swing, you were already one head width ahead of the ball. Okay. And that was outside in, obviously, with the one on the right. And now you're currently, I think you hit a draw with this shot. I think you hit just like a little baby draw with this seven iron. So staying underneath it. Boom, your left leg, your left leg is posting. You know, we could, you know, probably get the hands to stay a little bit more ahead. We could work on that. Yeah, your hands could be just a little bit more ahead, a little scoopy, just a little scoopy there. Um, head is such a, wow, what a different position. So continue working on what you're working on. I think the one thing on the back when I was talking about with the leg will help you out a lot, the right leg. And um, let's just do the takeaway here again. You can see right there, you move off of it right there. So I'm going to work on that with you where you're not moving off the ball right there. So you've already moved. I want you to stay still. So that's going to that, that's gonna be the big thing right there. Just stay still, not move off of it initially. Right there. Okay. And then... And then we'll get that right knee flexion to get like we we're talking about. And we're that, that, that's going to be an easy fix. It's going to make a big difference. So the more still you stay and everything else looking good, my man. So continue your hard work. And I would say by summer, we're going to be getting where we want to get. Okay. All right. Enjoy.
Hey Kyle, this is Neil again. This is down the line. The, the one on the right is from August. The one on the left is from current day. All right, setup. Biggest thing here is obviously the shoulders on the one on the right. You were so far aimed left compared to your feet. I mean, it was quite a bit, and that is a huge difference. What you look like on the left here, you can actually see your left forearm. You're more square. Everything's lined up together. Uh, the only thing I would point out is maybe just look, the hips go back a little bit um, at, as far as like that setup, stick your hips back. So that would uh, right here, just stick your hips back a little bit more. And I think what that's going to help you with is the shoulders that get a little bit more out in front of your feet here. Like they're kind of in line with your, your toes. I'd like to see the edge of your shoulder there, if I drew a line straight down a little bit more out in front of your toes there, okay? Uh, we, something we talked about, we can we can obtain that real quick. Just want to point that out to you. The, um, all right, so let's go back with the one on the, on the right, the original swing. Let's just watch the overall movement pattern. So you get it up to the top there. Okay, and current day. I wasn't quite down the line here, so I think this goes a little inside. Not much, but just a little bit. Um, and I think that could be from the sliding of the head back to. And then you get it up to the top. There's your top position. Wow, a lot better. More down the line at the top now. The other one was more laid off. But you got a deeper rotation here. Now your hips are turned more back. It's just it's just better. You can see your hips. The hips are different than than they were. So that's good. All right. So we'll go with the one on the right here, original, and just watch how your hands, your head. Let me slow this down a little bit. And you're just outside in right there. Boom, you're, you're not, and now you come down, you come just a little touch right steep right there. Then you stay behind it because your head's staying behind it now. Your head of the club is actually working inside that red line, and you're coming into the ball much more shallow. I mean, that's so much better. Look at that. That's hips are turning, you're posting on that left leg, your head's still down. Um, that's why you're hitting some, so many good shots. So it's a really good looking swing. So big improvements from what you were. Uh, like I said, that little takeaway, I think, is the slide thing we saw from face on. If we can keep that head more still, I think you're going to take it more straight back. And then that right knee uh, posting on the back. So we just let it, the knee flexion of it come in just a little bit. And uh, you're going to see just increased performance. You're going to be even better than what you are now. I think even more consistent. And it's going to be really good under the gun when you're playing in tournaments. That when you start out, just less movement, um, it's going to be even better. Okay. All right. Proud of you. You're doing great. Uh, continue the hard work, and uh, we'll see what it looks like here in a month.